Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to go through all my Pat McGrath Mothership palettes. I recently kind of completed my Mothership collection by hauling them. I'll link it up in the eye so you can go check out that video of me swatching each of the palettes that I recently hauled. I hauled five of them. What I want to do in this video is I want to swatch every shade that I think is duping itself within the Pat McGrath Mothership collection. Like I said, I have all 10 here. Um, oh my god, okay, we're gonna put this down in a very orderly fashion, showing all my double chins. When I hold the other five palettes, it was really clear for me to see how many similar shades there were in the Mothership palettes, which I think concerns me a little bit. I love makeup, I collect makeup, I, you know, it, it's like my passion, I love it, right? But if you were to purchase one of these palettes, it is a hefty chunk of money out of the bank. I think it's really easy to gravitate to things that make us feel comfortable, that we pour over. I love shiny shades, I love colour, I love beautiful neutrals, I love it when it's all encapsulated in one palette. I love that, a mix of colour, a mix of neutral and shininess. Oh, I love it, I love it so much. I also love uniqueness. And I think Pat McGrath offers this kind of unique experience. It feels like a piece of artwork. You know, every palette comes in this very beautiful artistic box. Every palette looks the same, very, very heavy, very beautiful, very luxe. So before I start swatching, what I think about when I think of Mothership palette are warm tone browns, um, pinks, that sparkly, beautiful wet shade, um, the kind of creamy metallic champagne shade, and possibly a black slash dark cool toned brown. Those are the five shades that I think of continuously when I think of a Pat McGrath palette. First of all, I wanna start with the first three Mothership palettes because I know in the first three and the first three alone, I've just gone through and checked the others, there is a black. So first of all, I wanna swatch all three blacks, see if they're exactly the same. And they also all have this champagne shade, which I said that a couple of the other palettes Let's have. So first of all, let's just swatch the three blacks and I can tell you if they're exactly the same. Please do not look at my nails on this hand because I was doing the washing up and they've chipped off, okay? So like, don't look at my nails, but this isn't about my nails, it's about the shadows. So these are the three blacks from the first three Mothership palettes. Mothership one, two, and three. So one, two, three, like that. So I'm gonna swatch them here. So those are the three blacks. Honestly, like, yeah, they're exactly the same. <laughs> they're absolutely the same. And when you look inside the packaging where the actual names of the shades are, these are all called Extreme Black. So we know that because of the name, I've just swatched them, these three blacks are all exactly the same. So if you have got these palettes that I've got, the three, oh my goodness, I'm gonna try and lift them up without breaking them, I'm kind of scared. Number one, number two, and number three, you're getting three shades. Like I have now got three shades in my collection that are all exactly the same. So, um, worth thinking about, you know. I really want to move on to kind of what I'd call the creamy champagne-y metallics that she seems to include in every single palette. They are slightly different, I can see they're slightly different, but I wanna see how different they really are. Okay, this is the first three. So you can see there is some variance, but honestly, like when you get these on the lids, I'd really love to see out of all 10 how similar they all are. So you've got Mothership one, two, and three. Okay, there they are so far on my hand. They're from the same family for sure, but they're not quite the same. Let's carry on swatching and see what else happens. These are the next three shades, which honestly look so close together. This one is Mothership 5, this one is Mothership 6, and this is Mothership 7. What I will do is I will list, because I'm gonna keep just saying Mothership 6, 7, 5, blah, 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 blah. Instead of saying their full name, I'm gonna put in the description bar their full name. Um, with the Roman numerals and just the number in the brackets because to be honest with you, I'm not great at Roman numerals. I have to like do them one to 10 the whole time just to know what they are. But yeah, this is five, six and seven. So let's swatch. I mean, they're looking pretty close together. I mean, they are different. They are, but like, are they really? You know, when you're selling a palette for like 120 quid, are they really that different? Um, I'd argue that they're all pretty like similar apart from the gold and like the pinky shades. So these three, one, two, three, they're not they're not that different <laughs> and then finally we have eight nine and ten do you see what i'm trying to say like they might not be exactly the same but they're giving the same vibe and it's like oh it's just all a bit similar so eight nine sorry you're gonna get arm hair in this swatch like i said sorry if you can see the arm hair in this swatch but like do you see what i'm saying like they're all that champagne shell beigey creamy colour and they're in literally every single one of the palettes. Every single one of these palettes has 
well you can see has a similar shade so if you really don't like this sort of shade then it's going to be in every single one of these palettes okay so interestingly the only two palettes out of all 10 that have the exact like shade quote unquote the name are the first one so mothership one and the mothership one two three four five six seven which is the divine rose so apparently these two have the exact same shade i mean you can see that they're pretty identical i'm talking about the top one right here and the top one up there they're pretty identical they have the exact same name these are all called in some shape and form skin show i'll read off top to bottom all the names of the shades so you can kind of just see how similar they are and actually they are called pretty much the same name i think that's just a really tricky way of basically getting practically the same shade and a slight variation between them i think it's a bit cheeky the first one is called skin show nude the second is called skin show glow the third is called skin show fever the fourth palette didn't have a shade like this the fifth palette is called Skin Show Divine Glow. The sixth palette is called Skin Show Moon Glow. The seventh palette is called Skin Show Nude. The eighth palette is called Skin Show Rose Opal. The ninth is called Skin Show Nude Ecstasy. And the tenth is called Skin Tense Glow. So I'd say they're all pretty similar. I mean, you can be the judge, but I just think these are all pretty dupable within one another. And on the eyes, I don't know how much of a difference you'd be able to tell really like honestly um so yeah okay the next shade that i always think of when i think of a pat mcgrath palette is a gold now looking at all of these palettes i can see kind of like if my eyes weren't really focusing on anything and i could just sort of blur my eyes i can see this sea of true gold kind of going throughout the palettes the difference is some of these shadows are blitz astral formula i always get the wrong way around astral blitz blitz, blitz astral formula so some of the golds flip however when i look down the line of all these palettes there is some form of gold in every single palette again do you really want to buy three eyeshadow palettes, four eyeshadow palettes, five eyeshadow palettes, all with the same, I mean I have, <laughs> but do you really want to buy the same shades again? I feel at this point like I have bought 10 eyeshadow palettes all practically with the same shades in and just four of them are changing each time. So it's just a bit of an eye-opening exercise for me and for you. But this is the first palette you can see there's a gold in here. In the second palette you can see that there is true gold here. There is also this like pink flip gold but I'm going to swatch this one. In the third palette, very easy to see this gold. So this is Mothership 1, 2 and 3. So far, in my opinion, very different. This is Mothership 4, it has to be this one. Mothership 5, the gold in here is here. Mothership 6, I'd actually say the gold is this one right here. I think that one's more of a copper. So this is Mothership 4, Mothership 5. And I want to go on the other side of the hand, Mothership 6. I mean so far it's looking pretty different but again same family this is the Mothership 7 palette and the gold here oh I'd say is this one Mothership 8 it's got to be this one for me this one's a bit too coppery I think Mothership 9 the gold is definitely this one and let's just swatch these out so this is 7 8 and 9 and then last but not least we've got number 10 which honestly like this one doesn't really have a gold in if i was to pick the gold out of all of this palette it would be this one here i'm just putting number 10 here so here are all of the gold if i was to open each of those palettes and i said to someone find me the gold i think these are the colors that you pick for like this is the their gold in each of the palettes um they are different but honestly some of these golds are running more copper than i thought and yeah they're definitely looking in the same family i think there's one or two in there that really throw it off but honestly i think the later five palettes all look pretty similar the first five i'd say you know apart from these two shades here um you know there was some variants but i think the last five that we've had from pat mcgrath are like maybe apart from number 10 but definitely these four all look pretty same and this one here so yeah there's some variants but there is also some dupes in there for sure so just reading the names from number one to number 10 starting down here and then going down here the first shade is called pale gold 002 the second shade is called bronze 005 the third gold is called gigabyte the fourth gold is called gold standard the fifth gold is called Bronze Blaze. The sixth gold is called Jubilee. 
The seventh is called Refined Gold 002. The eighth is called Gold Lust 001. The ninth is called Bronze Solaris 005. And the tenth is called Astral Gold Lust. So all of the palettes don't have the same name for any of these shades at all. I do understand that they aren't exactly, exactly the same. Like when I look at these swatches, they're not exactly the same. The tone of this one, this one, and this one, I'd say are very similar. You also probably heard in the name that I was saying gold and then bronze. Yeah, okay, so, you know, when I say the gold shade, I'm talking about the bronzy gold shade, the metallic, in every single one of these bloody palettes. So even if it's not gold, it's definitely within that gold and bronze family. It's the same vibe. Which now brings me on to my fourth shades that I think of when I think of a Pat McGrath palette, which are the browns and the pinks. Now I'm kind of just saying them together because the browns and the pinks are the mattes. I feel like Pat McGrath hasn't shown me that she can do a matte shade that isn't brown or just a part of the brown family or part of the pink family or somewhere in between. So I haven't got necessarily a shade in mind which I'm like these are exactly the same, like the golds, but I have got in mind what, what we're getting in terms of vibes. So I want to just swatch all of the browns and all of the pinks, the mattes, on my hands to just show you what I'm trying to say when, when I think of a Pat McGrath Mothership palette, these are the shades that come to mind it's just like one thing. Um, so I'm gonna go away and just swatch that and then come back and just run through the colors because there's a lot of swatching to be done. Okay, first of all, I just want to say, <laughs> how beautiful does this look, first of all? So these are all the browns and these are all of the mauvey pinks. There might be some crossover. I, I don't think there is. I've really tried to keep the pinky tones, even if it's cool toned and plummy, or the brown tones, even if it's cool toned and kind of grey but these are the matte shades. I think this is like, apart from the black, every single matte shade from all 10 palettes, yeah, apart from the matte blacks, these are all of the matte shades. So do you see where I'm going with this? There is nothing outside of the perimeters, or parameters, perimeters, parameters, of these two tones, these two families of colours, apart from the black, which I'm not going to count because we've already swatched the three blacks. Oh my god, look at my fingertips, so dirty. Yeah, these are the only two families of colours. We've got the browns, which, you know, granted there is a lot of variety there. I do see this cool toned dark brown three times. It might not be called the same shade, but it definitely looks the same. If these two are not the same, I'll eat my boot because they look identical. These two look pretty similar. Um, maybe like this one or these two, like they're not identical, but they look pretty similar. You know, like I said, these two and these three here, I'd say are like the closest, um, but they're all part of the same family, apart from maybe this really orangey, ready brown. But again, it's still part of the brown family, you know? And then we've got the mauvey pinks. Apologies for the messy swatching. I am not strong in my left hand at all. You can really see the shades that are exactly, they're not exactly the same, but similar. So these two here are similar. These two here are similar. These two, in fact, these three are very similar. Or maybe these two, like there's some crossover, you know? There's some real crossover between a lot of these shades. And honestly, I think three of these shades would summarize this entire thing very nicely, you know? Out of all 10 palettes, we have 11 brown colors. And then out of all 10 palettes, we have nine pink tones. Granted, a couple of these palettes don't have a single pink tone in them, especially the earlier palettes, but she's still hanging on to these two groups of colors, which again, there's nothing wrong with that, but it would be nice to see a matte green, a matte blue, um, a matte purple. Like, I know we've got the plummy shades, but not really. It's pinky mauve. You know, it'd be nice to see some variety of a different colour. Um, not variety of the same, because we have variety. There is, there is definitely variety of brown. There's definitely variety of pinky mauve. But I'd like to see a variety of a different shade. Even like a nice matte toned mustard yellow it would be kind of, I mean that's sort of a mass mustard, no it's not, it's brown, it's like a camel brown, but you know, do you see where I'm going with this? Do you see where I'm going with this? Right, let me tell you all of the shade names from top to bottom for both of these palettes. Um, I will try and tell you which palettes they're from as I go down. We'll start with the browns, so it's going from this side down to this side down. From the first palette we have the shades Depth and Ultimate Taupe. From the second palette we have the shade Dark. From the third palette we have the shade Deep Shade. From the fourth palette there was no matte in there that I could swatch that was similar. From the fifth palette we have the shade Entrapment. Let me go onto the side of the hand to Disobedient. 
We then go into the sixth palette, which starts with Extreme Dusk, then going down to Taboo, then going down to Vermilion Venom. In the seventh palette, we have Extreme Mahogany. In the eighth palette, there was nothing from the Brown family. In the ninth palette, there was nothing from the Brown family. And then finally, we have the shade Extreme Nocturne from the tenth palette. And again, doing the same for the pinks, I'll tell you all the shade names, starting from the first palette to the 10th palette. Uh, this time we're gonna start from here, going down, and then going here to go down. So from palettes one, two, three, and four, there wasn't a pinky toned mauve matte that I could find. But in the fifth palette, there is the shade Extreme Aubergine. Again, in the sixth palette, there wasn't a pinky or mauvey toned matte that I could find. But in the seventh palette, we have a cool toned taupey pink called Valoria. In the 8th palette we then have the shade Extreme Burgundy and the shade Naked Blush. In the ninth palette, so jumping onto the other side of the hand now, we have the shade Extreme Plum Noir, Secret Eden and Shockwave. And then in the 10th palette we have Rosewood Romantique and Plum Cabaret. So again, none of these shades are exactly identical, none of them have the same name, um, similar to the browns. None of them are truly dupes of one another and they're all pretty similar. You know, actually, whilst I've got these palettes in front of me, I'm actually seeing one more category that I hadn't anticipated. And this category is kind of not the same, but I just want to show you the same principle of the shade that she has like a, as a theme running throughout her palettes. So before I get to those beautiful shiny shades, I want to kind of highlight the fact that she has a lot of the same sort of metallic, satiny metallic, like just bog standard metallic, taupey, um, taupey shades that are kind of running a little bit cool toned, a bit warm toned. I just want to show you the amalgamation of just those shades because to me they're the nothing special shades, you know, for example the Midnight, this Midnight one, what's this called? Midnight Sunset I think this is called, can't quite remember Midnight Sunset. This has got a beautiful green in it and I'd say this is quite unique within the collection. Whereas this one here, it's like this lovely bronzy shade, but it's like nothing special. It's not an astral, or blitz astral shade. It's just like a nothing special shade. And I can see that throughout the palettes actually. There's a couple here which are just like nothing special. So I want to now swatch in my mind the nothing special shades um, that are just like the bog standards throughout the palette and that kind of sing the same tune in the same family so I won't be swatching like the green or like this one which is like this lovely papaya sort of pink I won't be swatching those I'm going to be swatching those bog standard shades that run throughout so let's swatch okay so I went through all 10 of them and all 10 palettes had at least one shade which was like this some of them actually had two shades which I'd call the nothing special shades like they're just metallics and they're they're helpful for building up a look for sure but they're just like not the reason I buy these palettes they're just not the reason why I buy these palettes I mean let's be real the reason that are those four blitz astrals at the very end of the palette which we're all like used to by now you know these four here that's why we buy them not really for these six like not really so yeah these are the shades that I just think I don't necessarily appreciate and I don't really care for it's interesting when I look at them all on my hands now I do think like they are really pretty however they all look the bloody same yeah okay there are some discrepancies of course like I can see that there are some discrepancies but they're just nothing special I have this in my collection time and time again. It's not the reason why I buy a Pat McGrath Mothership palette. So yeah, once again, let me go from up here, down to here, 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 here to here, and tell you where each of these shadows come from, what palettes and what they're called. Just to give you a close up, you can see there are some discrepancies and there are some nicer shadows than others. This one here was like minging. It just did not swatch very nicely. Some of them are very red based. Um, very warm, some cool tones, you know, that there are some slight discrepancies. This one down here was really, really nice. It's kind of, it is what you make it, but they're just nothing special. So from the first palette, there was only one shade that was quite like this, and this was the shade Substance. From the second palette, I picked out two, and these were Iconic and Rose Dust, um, one being a little more bronze toned and the other being a bit more red toned. From the third palette, I picked out Lazarus. From the third palette, I picked out Lazarus, which is just a kind of a deep brown shade. From the fourth palette, it was a little bit difficult because this palette is very unique in the Mothership collection, but I picked out the shades Inferno, and then going on to the second row, it was Blue Blood. From the fifth palette, and this one was a bit of the rubbish swatch, was the shade Guilty Pleasure. From the sixth palette, we've got Bronze Eclipse. 
From the seventh palette, we have the shade Sable Bronze. And then from the eighth palette, I picked out two because I think swatched out, they look pretty similar. So the bottom of that middle row was Eleganza. And then I got the shade Divine Dusk, which is the top of those three there next to my thumb. From the ninth palette, I picked out the shade Bronze Desire. And from the tenth palette, I picked out Bronze Devotion. Interestingly, again, all of those names are bronze, bronze, bronze. You know, it, it's it's that plum and bronze. That repetition keeps coming back to me. I just feel like this one, uh, in contrast to the mattes, for example, these are the metallic versions of, again, the same thing. And actually, when you look on my hand, I could probably have separated this out into browns and pinks again. It's that same thing, but in a different texture. I don't think these are great, great formula. These are not metallics that I would reach for. Again, these are not the reasons I buy the palette. So without further ado, that's kind of leading on to my final section of the swatching, which is the shiny shades, the shiny slippy shades, which I think are like this. It's wet, it's beautiful, it's the Astral Blitz, and it's stunning. However, I think that there's one in every single palette that kind of looks the same. So starting off with the first palette, obviously we're going to have some issues here because all four of the, like the end of the motherships are all Blitz Astrals, which means they're all beautifully shiny. They're all beautifully shiny. But if I had to just pick the shiny shades, like real shiny magpie, I love it. It would be between these two. And honestly, this one has got such a base to it that I think it's not shiny. It's just interesting. I would probably go for this one here as being the shiny, beautiful, opalescent, just interesting shade. Palette number two, again, it's a similar sort of thing. We're gonna go for this one because it's just that reflective, just, oh, it's so stunning. And yet again, very similar story for the third palette. The first three palettes, I think, were very uh, similar to one another. They were iterations of the same idea, the same concept. It's this one that's really reflective. I don't know why I've just gone for the, all the white ones, but it's the ones that don't have the base to it because they're really shiny and really slippy. So that's what the first three look like. So that's palette one, two, and three. Two and three do look very, very, very similar. I will not be surprised if they're not called the same thing, but they do look very similar. So that's the first three. I will turn my lights down at the end just so you can see the nice reflex, but you can see they're all really wet, haven't really got a base to them, and they all get this beautiful iridescence. These two shades are very, very, very similar, but Bay bottom dollar, they're not the same shade. We then go into palette four, which in my personal opinion doesn't have any shades of this nature. These are all metallics, these are beautiful, and if you were to pick the shiny shades of this palette, it would probably be this silver and this type of, I don't really know, this like titanium sort of shade. It's beautiful, it's bright, but it's not this. It's not this. Do you see what I mean? Like these two shades, they're stunning. They're stunning. They're really bright, really reflective and lovely metallics, but they're not whatever magic that is. It's just not the same playing field. And I'd feel unfair to palette number four by swatching them in comparison to this. And it will really throw off the vibe because it's not what I'm looking for. If I was to look for the shiny shade, I'd be like, uh, this is the brightest, this is the shiniest, but it's not the same playing field. So therefore I'm not gonna swatch them. I might just swatch them on my hand here so you can see and we'll come back to it but you know they, these are stunning they are really beautiful really beautiful metallics they're just not this they're just not this palette number five i'm struggling a little bit these are so stunning this is a blitz astral too but it's just not quite the same as these three this i think is an absolute no-brainer palette six for me is an absolute no-brainer there's only one shade in this whole palette like it and it is this one here yet again oh it's so beautiful look at that that is just like so nudey and so so beautiful palette number seven i think again there's only one shade that i think is the shiny shade these blitz astrals are lovely so you've got the duochrome the lovely gold and you've got like this nice duochrome as well but this one is the only one that's quite out on its own again very similar to the palette before and you know that's the whole point of this is to actually see if all of these shades are practically identical and if she's just basically putting the same shade in each of the palettes yes it might be beautiful but is it the same honestly these are pretty similar palette number eight i feel doesn't have a particularly shiny shadow like the others 
but again it's got to be this shade if it's going to be any of them. I'm even debating whether to put this into the mix, it doesn't feel the same, it feels smoother. The other ones feel far more chunky and kind of glittery dare I say, um, but let's swatch it up against and see. I mean I suppose it's similar I guess, yeah I suppose it's similar, it's just not as shiny as this one and this one is it? But it's in the mix. Number nine I think for me has to be this one right here. This is so reflective, so, so stunning. Uh, this one here, the purple is also stunning, it's like a beam of light, but I think this is the shade from this palette. This one actually is different because it is more pinky and I noticed that on first swatch. Like I said, I'll turn my lights down so you can see them all better in a minute, but oh my god, look at my hands, I look like a tin man. And then we get on to the Mothership 10, which let's just be real, half of this palette is the shiny shade, like these five are all shiny shades. I'm going to swatch this shade and these three shades on my fingers and just see what I think. I can immediately tell you that this one is out of the mix and so I think is this one. I think it's down to these two here and these two are the two at the very end. These two shadows here, so this one was this one here and it's just a bit too deep and I think it's more of a metallic. This shade, the second one, was this one. Again, it's more of a creamy metallic, beautiful, but just not the thing I'm looking for. And these two feel like the same texture, the kind of that gritty texture. I think the gold isn't quite the shiny shade I'm looking for. And this one's quite lavender. So I think I'm gonna go for this one, even though the others are pretty well stunning. <laughs> Okay, so here are all the shades. I've just adjusted my lighting, so hopefully it's easier for you to see. These are so beautiful. They're so beautiful, yet, I mean, they're all slightly different, but they're all slightly similar. I think, again, it could be one of those things that all of these shades could be condensed down to four, and you probably wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between the eyes. There are definitely some dupe ups here, or some that are so similar. Like, these two are pretty similar, these two are pretty similar, um, this one and this one. I'd say the blue and the pink are the only ones that really stand out to me in terms of like there's nothing quite like them. You know there could be four or five that are really good solid shades but I just think there's a lot of doubling up and for the price you're paying you're paying for that repetition and for me that is bothersome. Like it is bothersome that I don't want to be paying, well I already have, I don't want to be paying for the same thing but slightly, slightly, slightly different. I want to be paying for something cool. I feel like I can't back chat these because these are so beautiful. I'll do the same for what I did for the others and go down from here to here, from here to here and just tell you what palette they come from and the name of them. So in the first palette, the shade is called Astral White. In the second palette, it's called Astral Ghost Orchid. In the third palette, the shade is called Astral Ghost Orchid. In the fourth palette, there was nothing really that we could find because it was all metallics. In the fifth palette, the shade was called Astral Lunar Gold. In the sixth palette, the shade was called Astral Solstice. In the seventh palette, it was called Astral Solstice. In the eighth palette, it was called Astral Pink Moon. In the ninth palette, it was called Astral Venusian Orchid. And in the tenth palette, it was called Astral Lilac Aura. So those shades that I said are exactly the same, were the exact same. We had two of the Astral Ghost Orchids and two of the Astral Solstice, I think it was called. So, so out of these nine shades, there's actually only seven that are unique. Two of them are double ups. Don't get me wrong, if they're going to double up anything, I'd rather they double up these beautiful shades. Like, they are stunning. But honestly... <sighs> the average person are you really going to get to a bottom of an eyeshadow palette to the point where you need two of the same shade like i said don't get me wrong i'd rather have beautiful shiny shades like this as opposed to three blacks because i'm never going to get to the bottom of those black shades ever but it just like begs the question of what are you really paying for in a pat mcgrath palette you're paying for recycled thoughts and yes they're all stunning they're all stunning i'm very happy that i've got to sit here for two hours swatching all of my Pat McGrath palettes but it's a little bit eye-opening as to what she's actually selling you. She's not selling you much of a unique thing. Um, there are definitely some unique shades that we haven't even swatched today 
but it's just very interesting to see the double ups between all the palettes. Before I actually finish this video, I have gone through every single palette looking at their names and I've made a note on my phone of what actual shades are the exact same. Like name for name, she is saying these are the same shades. The first one is the Skin Show Nude shade, which is in the first palette and oh my goodness, this is the seventh, I think. So it's this shade right here. These are the exact same this one right here and that one. Oh god don't drop it that one right there those are the exact same shade there are the black shadows the extreme black um which is in the first three palettes the next same shadow is rose dusk which is this one here it's from the second palette and the seventh again the divine rose which whoa is that shade right there so those two in the middle bottom are the exact same so this palette has got two dupes so far from other palettes and then the second and the third palette both have this shade right here and this shade right here called Astral Ghost Orchid. So those two at the very end are the exact same. But I think from this entire video we can arrive to the synopsis that Pat McGrath does beautiful shades. She executes the palettes beautifully. However, there is such a repetitiveness between every single one of her mothership palettes. We saw how similar things were. If I see the word divine, dust, extreme, ever, oh my god, honestly, like gold, rose, rosewood, gold, bronze, it's all the same wording because it's all the same. Like it might be a hair different but it's all the same. This has been a really good exercise for me to just swatch everything that's very similar to remind myself when the next Pat McGrath palette comes out, is it going to be the same of what I got? Am I buying? Like, what am I actually paying for? Am I paying for the same rose gold, the same bronze bliss? And it's also worth you asking the same question too, but this has been really fun. I am like, literally have glitter within my cell structure right now so I'm gonna go have a shower and get all of this off of me but thank you so much for joining along if you have any of the mothership palettes and let me know which one you have if you're eyeing any up which one are you eyeing up also would you like to see a ranking um or just me playing around with them I really want to talk about Pat McGrath more kind of in a similar concept to this video but more about the other releases that I have not picked up for a very similar reason of it's all looking the same. So if you'd like to see that video or like rankings or just like general you enjoy Pat McGrath, then let me know if there's any other brands as well that you'd like to see, do give me a shout. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you've enjoyed. Thumbs video up if you have. Subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. And I wish you guys to be happy and healthy, stay safe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.